made it to Jeju Island. It only takes a quick hour flight from Busan. I am staying in Jeju City, which which is kind of far away from like other like na more nature areas. And the only way to get around is by bus or if you have an international license. So we're gonna take the bus. It does take one to three hours to get to different parts of the island. First stop is in the west side of the island. There's a vegan restaurant I really want to go to, and today is the only time to go. It is three o'clock, so buses do stop running around like 10 p.m. So you gotta go. traveling Jeju Island by bus was pretty okay. I only did a baby trip, but it was nice being on the bus and riding through the north part of Jeju Island. Cow Maps is really helpful because it shows exactly when the next bus is coming. Even Google Maps is helpful to show which bus to take, but like all three neighbor Google Maps and Cacao Maps don't really tell you a set schedule of when they'll be arriving and I couldn't find one online. But it was pretty simple. Tomorrow I'm going to go to the east side of the Island to do some hiking. day three of going around Jeju Island via bus. It's not that bad again. Uh, in total, it did take three hours to get around. I went to the east side this time. The hike was amazing. Um, and then I did stop by one beach, which was surrounded by windmills. It was really pretty. The apps, again, were really helpful in figuring out which buses to take. There was this one time I'm like, am I on the right side of the road? But that's just me being directionless. Anyways, tomorrow's my last day in Jeju Island. I'm gonna go down south, which should take longer, but I'm gonna try to go earlier this time.
lost frames when it feels good from the right direction. They make it pretty easy. Okay, here we go. Feels like I'm the only one walking and taking buses. That's all right. See the bus stop, but gotta hurry because there's no ETA online. Okay, yeah, let's check when the bus is coming. There's a walking path, so I think I'm good. Oh, it's pretty So today was my last day exploring Jeju Island by bus and everywhere you read online everyone says it's the crappiest option but it wasn't that bad. They make it pretty easy and the buses here are efficient. Like I'm glad I did this trip. I hope not being able to drive here doesn't stop you from visiting. There are a lot of sights to see. Um, next time I would try actual hiking. There's a bunch of trails here or to try doing Halasan Mountain and learning more about the culture and backstories behind all the volcanoes and like all the spirits here. Back to Seoul tomorrow for last nine days in South